Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'll show you guys how to beat Nightmare Aggressive on Five Nights at Freddy's 3. So to access Nightmare Aggressive, you need to go to the Extras menu, uh, click on Cheats, and make sure Aggressive is uh, has a check mark next to it. And then you'll just go on to Normal Night, night 6. So this night, um, basically Night 6, because it's... Okay, by the way, I got jump scared by Foxy. It's actually really good to get jump scared early like this so that he cannot attack you later. Um, but just reset ventilation immediately. Springtrap should not be killing you this early, so you don't have to worry about that. But, so this is very similar to Night 6, just with a lot of more, a lot more RNG involved or luck. Um, also, there's no audio to this night because I recorded this on my stream um, and the audio turned out terrible, so I'm s sorry about there's going to be no sound, but it should be okay even without sound. I'll try to explain everything. But, so, uh, until around 1 a.m., just kind of let Springtrap do his thing unless he gets to camera 5 or lower. If he gets to camera 5 or lower early on, try to lure him out to any other camera. Uh, 5, I mean, 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever. Um, but when it gets to 1 a.m., uh, actually start sealing vents and, um, all the vents and tr start luring him to whichever camera is, uh, the best. So the best cameras to lure him to in this night are 6, 7, and 2. So like other nights, uh, always try to lure him to camera 6 or 7. If that doesn't ever work out and he gets to camera 8, 9, 10, Try your best to lure him back down. If not, uh, just hope that he'll move there by himself and try to just watch him. But the, the problem with that is um, all the... Uh, by the way, <laughs> I got jump scared a lot right here, but still okay. There's some luck factors like this where uh, you'll still be okay, uh, even if some of that stuff happens. But if he ever gets to 9, 10, you should try to lure him off immediately. Um, you do not want to risk him going into the vent um, and going immediately to your office. But what mainly what you're going to be doing this night is keeping him on camera 2. Uh, there's no really keeping him on camera 7 or 6 unless uh, you do something that keeps him there. But uh, camera 2, what you want to do is what I did for night 6, uh, lure him there. And once you see static and you know that he's moving back, uh, go ahead and reboot whatever you need. Um, right here, I accidentally rebooted camera as well. I was not being smart. Um, but, of course, listen to sounds to know when he's on camera too. When the noise that Springtrap makes when he gets to camera 5 or below gets super loud, either means he is in the, f the front window or camera 2 or, you know, camera 1. But knowing the sound cues is really important for knowing, like, what to reset. Also, right there, if he's ever standing there, try your best to lure him straight to two. Uh, if it doesn't work out and he runs past, that's what happens a lot. I got pretty lucky right there, and um, that won't happen every time. But I don't know really what I was doing here. I was kind of just messing around on accident. Uh, I didn't quite know where Springtrap was, so... Uh, once again, use the sound cues to your advantage to know, like, which camera he's at. Uh, Freddy could interfere with this uh, when he's walking across and he also makes the noise, the static noise. But try your best to hear Springtrap over that. As you can see right there, he's on camera 5, so he's actually gone back a little bit. Um, and I actually lured him to 6 here. Uh, if, he ever, if you ever get the opportunity to lure him to camera 6 or 7, do it. Uh, you want him as far away as possible uh, from where you are. Um, but if he ever gets back to camera two, just maintain the method of if he leaves, uh, lure him there, reset uh, one thing at a time. Uh, if Again, if it's your audio and video out at once right here, like right here, uh, reset your audio only first. Um, camera is not as important as audio because... Uh, camera doesn't help you lure at all, uh, but the audio does. So this is, again, I got lucky with him right there. Uh, won't happen every time, but try your best. But yeah, um, 
if you ever get the chance, keep him on camera six or seven. If not, try to keep try your best to just lure him to two at all times. Um, if he ever does run past, which you'll see in a little bit, I got pretty unlucky here. Um, if he ever does run past the glass near the door, uh, and uh, you get unlucky with that, uh, just try your best to. Uh, wait until Freddy goes away if he's walking past and then just wait it out at 5 a.m Which is what I kind of did here as you can see he ran past right there But Freddy's almost uh across the window. So I knew that uh, I had a chance here So I just kind of kept flipping this up making sure Freddy doesn't jump scare me and now I just wait because um, I knew I was close enough that I could just wait it out now if it's like 4 a.m And he's at the door. It's not gonna happen unless you get really lucky on resetting ventilation but anyways that's pretty much that it's very similar to night six just a little more chaotic and a little more rng based but as long as you can keep them to two consistently or six or seven don't let them enter any other vents you have to be really speedy with um closing vents when needed um that's one of the main issues that i had early on uh, he enters vents a lot faster this uh, this um, night, so keep that in mind, and yeah, I hope this helped. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments, but yeah, thank you so much for watching, and good luck with this. Again, any questions, just let me know, and yeah, see ya.